everyone, I'm James at thattechguy.net. So you've installed or upgraded to Ubuntu 14.10, and you're wondering what to do next. Well, today I'd like to give you eight things you can do to better your operating system experience. Now, after installing Ubuntu, the very first thing that you should do is you should change your software sources to update the number of packages in your repositories. And you can do this by simply pressing the super or Windows key and typing in software. And you want to click on software and updates. And just make sure that everything under Ubuntu software and other software is checked. And when you click close, it will ask you to reload the information and it will update your repositories. So that should be the very first thing you do. And after you update your repositories, you're going to want to run an update from the terminal. And we do that by typing in sudo apt get update. And sudo apt get upgrade. And if you're doing this for the first time, keep in mind that it will take a little while to download everything. But once you do, once it finishes, you will have your updated repositories. After you do that, you're going to want to install the restricted extras so that you can run additional programs and codecs. And we can do that by typing sudo apt get install Ubuntu restricted extras. <clears throat> and again, if you're doing this for the very first time, it will take a little while to install. Thirdly, if you did not install the restricted extras, you can install the Adobe Flash Player plugin. However, if you install restricted extras, Flash Player is included with that. But if you just want Flash Player as a standalone, you simply type in super sudo apt get install flash plugin installer and let that run. Another thing that you may want to do is you may want to download and install VLC. And again, it's a very easy process. We simply type sudo apt get install VLC and let that run. And this will install the VLC media player, which is one of the better media players out there. It's capable of playing just about any file type that you can throw at it. So it's pretty good. The next tip that, or thing that you can do to better your operating system is you can install RAR, which will allow you to extract um, packages. And we can do this by sudo apt get install RAR. And as you can see, installing um, programs like VLC and RAR and other programs like Skype or VirtualBox, it's all very straightforward when you do it through the terminal. So as you can see, it's a very easy process. It's much easier than going online and going to that plugin distributor's website, finding the right one for your system, downloading it, and then installing it. From the terminal, it's a very straightforward process, which I appreciate. The sixth suggestion for what you can install is a Unity Tweak Tool. And this is one of my favorite programs. And we get it by typing in sudo apt get install unity dash tweak dash tool and press enter. Now once this installs, you can press your super key and just type in tweak and you'll find the Unity Tweak Tool and from here you can customize just about every aspect of the face of your operating system. So the way it looks, the way um, windows manage and behave um, to your theme and to system details. It's all here. So you're going to want to download this tool and play around with it so that you can customize it to your liking. After you install the Unity Tweak tool, 
you may also want to download Compiz. And the easiest way to do this is actually through the Ubuntu Software Center. And just come up to the search bar here and type in Confiz. And you'll find the Compiz Config Settings Manager. And you can install it right here and then open it by pressing the super key and typing Compiz. And similar to the Unity Tweak Tool, this will allow you to change the behavior and aspects of various parts of Ubuntu to your liking. Be careful though because if you don't know what you're doing and you mess something up, you could render your operating system unusable. So a word of caution there. And if you're curious about becoming more familiar with Compiz Config, then I suggest that you check out my other video that I have on my channel that covers this in more detail. After you've, after you've installed Compiz, you may want to install Java. And we can do that by going back to our terminal and typing sudo apt-get install iced t-7 dash plugin open jdk jdk sorry dash 7 dash jre and press enter <clears throat> and that will install java so there you have it very quickly um, eight things that you may want to do after installing ubuntu 14.10 i hope that you found this helpful and if it was then please like and subscribe and check out other videos on my channel for tips and tricks for various operating systems. So, thanks for watching.